This Masters update with Derek Stevens edition of the Sports Gaming Podcast is brought to you by Shady Rays. Go to shadyrays.com and use promo code SGPN for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. We're also brought to you by the Golf Gambling Podcast Tailor Made Driver Giveaway. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash driver to enter today before the big drawing on April 8th. We're also brought to you by Baseball Money is Fake, our fantasy baseball podcast. Join Blake and Ryan three times a week and get all the player breakdown statistical data you need to dominate. Hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of Circle Las Vegas. You're listening to FGPN. Let it ride. The sports gambling podcast of Sean Stacking the Money Green with my partner in picks, Ryan Real Money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Well, we are masters. Yes. A quick, quick announcement before the big, the head honcho gets here. First round golf bet sucked, and uh, my <laughs> snorkeling attempts were cut short. Yes. So sh- shout out to the shout out to the, the deep dive team. They win again. Scuba's uh, scuba team for the win. And uh, kind of ironic if you look at the board. I mean, it does seem like a, a couple of the chalkier plays out to a good start here in these first couple of days. I, I mean, to me, the biggest story right now is the amateur uh, who is just Bennett, who is just hanging up there in the leaderboard. There was a, a bit of a weather delay, but uh, I, I mean, the, the amateur being that high has to be the biggest story right now, right? Uh, I mean, uh, I hope he's not high, high because he's got a hell of a weekend <laughs> ahead of him, Sean. I got to, got to think. Like we all know, Brooks, obviously a huge dick, really upset with the golf community for talking me oh, off of Brooks. I'm so mad. I, I was, I had the hundred to one ready to go, and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do it when I'm out in Vegas. I get that sweet paper ticket taken down by my love of paper tickets because I get out here at thirty five to one, and I go. I'm um, too. That's not enough for me. A 35 to one shot. No good for old Sean Green. So I go, oh, I, the value's gone. I'm not going to take it. Sorry, that's the value, please. Oh, and here he oh. is joining us on the Sports Gambling Podcast, the one and only Derek Stevens. What's happening, Derek? Hey, what's happening, fellas? Good to see you out here. How, how, oh. how, how nice is this weather? Oh, it's oh, beautiful. This is the only sunshine. The Great clouds is. just passed. It's going to be 75. It's sunny here. Now we're in business. Oh, we are. We are certainly in business. And uh, talking to you yesterday, I, I think the big story, at least for you guys, is how interested people are in golf betting. Oh. Like, talk about talk about the excitement and just talk about the volume and energy surrounding the Masters. It's been unbelievable. I mean, the handle this year has already blown away all records. Uh, you know the way it's played out. It's 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 not just who's going to win the Masters, but it's also what top ten finishes. It's yeah. who's going to make the cut, and then the individual matchups. I mean, they've been betting everything, so it's it's a uh, it's been pretty awesome. This is going to turn into, I I can feel it. This is going to turn into the next level where year after year after year. Masters has become more of a thing in Vegas. Well, and, and I'm glad we're here for this Masters because I want to set a tradition unlike any other of us coming out, hanging out for yes. the Masters because it does feel like, especially in the gambling world, this could turn into like the next Super Bowl uh, of well, sports betting. Well, it just call, it's 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 Mart. It's literally Masters Madness. Yes, you can just use the same name. And, it works. And, yes, it's in it April works. though. Masters Madness. We don't have the buzzer beaters, but you do have the sweet putts and. You talk about the matchup parlays. I know uh, we got a couple of matchup parlays cooking, so oh, look yeah. out for that. Uh, might take you down here. But who are obviously? I would imagine Tiger Woods winning is a is not an ideal result for the books. But any other any other golfers you're worried about the, this weekend, Derek? Yeah, I mean, I'll t- I mean, the two biggest liabilities by by uh, by dollars are Tiger Woods. Uh, but you know that's not something we were all that worried about, just because yeah. of his injuries and whatnot. And you I, saw him walk. You saw well, him walk I mean, down the yeah. fairway. But I mean, there's a certain element with Tiger Woods being being the greatest. If people are going to make a bet, there's a lot of people are going to throw 20 bucks down yeah. on him yeah, because, it adds because up. God forbid Tiger wins and you did you did it better, yes. you know. So there's a certain element where it's going to come out, and with those odds, you know, every twenty dollars like add, it adds up. Next thing you know, the house is down three million. Yeah, you know so. Well, so look out and now. What about the? I, uh, I would tell you. I would tell you the next one though. The one that's actually in play now, which we're all kind of stunned out, 
It's a seven-figure loss on Bennett right now. Yes, we were I just mean, he, talking he, about he, that. He, 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 he's uh, he's uh, under um, by eight. He's unbelievable. Eight, right? I mean, yeah, he's eight, eight under. Right under. Talk about. I mean, think about this too. He might not have to play till Sunday. The the energy that he's thinking about. Twenty-three years old. Two best two rounds of his life. And yeah, I mean. I, there's no way we got to fade him on the weekend, though, right? Yeah, I, 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 would, the pressure. You know, I would say so, but I think a lot of people came in last night. They said they're going to fade him for round two, and he oh. and he stole it today. Yeah, I mean that's it's it's one thing to have that good first round and and just kind of not overthink it, but to to come back and have an awesome round two, that to me is that, that's where it's shocking and that's where you get a little nervous. I mean, what did he open up for you guys? Was he like five hundred to one thousand to one? He, he, had to have been pretty crazy odds, right? It had to be something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what the number was. Based I mean, on the figures, it's got to be a thousand to one. And, and you know, one thing for us is we we really did it. We did not pool all seven amateurs. A lot of places pool. Oh yeah, like pool they just have an amateur one guy, as one yeah. like a field bet of amateurs. Yeah. We actually put everybody, every one of them, out there. And uh, oh, I know Derek. Cool. I bet on Gordon <laughs> Sargent. He Gordon Sargent. Sargent. <laughs> Sargent yeah. Well, yeah, he was the he was the one. All the sharp golf guys were like, yeah. oh, Sargent's your amateur. Sargent's the guy you got to get down on and uh, that was a little bit of a disaster. Bennett obviously was the one and it, it, it ends up being a great story. Uh, you know, he's playing kind of for his dad and uh, yeah, we'll see if it continues on the weekend. Obviously that's going to be a, going to be a huge storyline. What about like, what's the, what's the next big event out here in Circa? I imagine uh, the draft isn't out in Las Vegas, but I imagine it's still, still going to be pretty big betting wise, right? Yeah, it should be pretty big betting wise, uh, but really the big thing I'd say for Vegas now is we're all kind of ramping up, not for a single day or a single event, but we really think that this year's NBA playoffs are oh, going to yeah. be something something special. And we think obviously with the way the Golden Knights are playing, yeah, and you know this game they just had against the Kings. I mean, you could say there's a little uh, bit a little bit Derek, of energy. I saw in. I saw Circus Sports on the uniforms over there for the the Vegas Knights, yeah. looking sharp. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so we think there's going to be a heck of a run in NBA playoffs and uh, and NHL playoffs this year. So. What about? Uh, well, hold I, on, I have a question yes. because I didn't hear you say anything about laminating the NFL schedule when it comes <laughs> out. That has to Derek's be a big event. Get his big Sell chart. tickets, Derek. People want to watch that <laughs> schedule being made. Yeah, we got to. We, we'll get that out as soon as we uh, <laughs> as soon as we see the NFL schedule. Oh, I can't and wait. then, and a then week we start or two, playing in the Circus Survivor match. That's right. Then we start coming out with the with the Circus Million Circus. A survivor, and we start opening it up, and then we're off and running. Hell yeah! Let's go, Derek. I would love to know, like, uh, for the NBA playoffs, it seems like a pretty wide open year, at least compared to most years. I, I mean, you know, like the Kings are up there, but no one believes in them. The Lakers have been floating around, hanging around. The Warriors may be playing possum a little bit in the regular season. What uh, what does the what does the market say for these conference futures or playoff futures for the NBA? Uh, you you actually nailed the number one team that I think is not getting much respect to Sacramento. Yeah. Nobody nobody really Sacramento might go into a first round first round as a as a dog in the series. You know. It's crazy. Um, there's been a lot of love recently with this with the Phoenix Suns after the Durant oh, yeah. trade. Yeah. You're always going to get some Warrior money coming in, and obviously in Vegas Vegas is a, a bit of a Laker town, so you, you've got that Laker money coming in. On the East. That's more of a little bit more of a mixed bag, I would say, but uh, but it's certainly the West is where where a huge amount of interest is uh, is going to fall. Yeah, no, in the East too, it's I guess it's top heavy with like Philly, Boston, Milwaukee, but the the West is um, yeah. I didn't hear you mention the Knicks, Sean. No, Knicks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Craver's a Knicks guy, so he's open, always hoping they're going to turn things. I, I just want the glory years of the '90s to come back for me. <laughs> uh, what about uh, what about local teams for you, Michigan? Uh, what are you what are you looking forward to as a Michigan guy? Well, as a Michigan guy, I'm upset about this NBA lottery. The no. Detroit Pistons earned the number one this yes. year. We need that big seven foot three guy to go with oh, Jade. Oh, To go man. and go That's with to be... go to Jade with Jaden Ivey, Ivy with Cunningham, all that. We oh, could have man. a hell of a team. But they're Did probably you, gonna lose a lottery. No. Well that's how it works. They you know it's controlled. You need, they a, you need to freezer. talk to David Cern about freezing the right envelopes, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> then you then you guys will be good to go. I mean Webb and Yama, that's the other thing I would say. Maybe add it onto your radar because I think with Webb and Yama, assuming he plays in the summer league, I feel like that's gonna be a pretty exciting yeah. event for Vegas coming up. Yeah, NBA Summer League, that, that's something that's actually grown year over year. It's uh it's a pretty good, uh pretty good ten day run. Um, it's a little front-loaded when when uh, when, when uh, all, all the, the big like the games good, play, yeah. 
But uh, but yeah, that that's been a great new addition. And then uh, really, what we're gonna what we're gonna see, we're we do pretty well with uh, in, with uh, Major League Baseball home run derby All Star oh, game. Yeah. Then you know, then you got NBA, you got the uh, you got the uh, summer league, and then boom, you're you're right into Hall right into football. Game, right in Let's there. go. Yes, I can't wait to start betting uh, preseason football. Getting into it. <laughs> well, well, before we let you go, Derek, I know you're a busy guy. Got to hit up some meetings, but football NFL 2023. What's uh, one surprise team that's already kind of on your radar? I know it's early, but who should people look out for for uh, 2023? You know, I, 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 at this point in time of the year, I really want to. I really like to think about who's going to win the draft. Who's going to write all the articles? Hey, yeah. On the Monday after the draft, and who won the draft? Because that's going to actually that sets the tone for the rest of the season. Now, I think I think in some ways it's a little bit easy to predict who's going to win this draft. I think Seattle is going to win the draft. Mm. I think the Detroit Lions are oh, going to yeah. win the You're draft. You're Lions, man. But Lions, right? You know, I, th <laughs> I think I think the Dolphins are going to lose the draft. I mean, it just comes down to who's got the picks. Where, where do they all stack up? And and who's made these free agent free, free agency moves? So. Um, I think Seattle, Seattle and the Lions are the two teams to look for. Um, obviously, San Francisco is good. The 49ers are going to be a great team in the NFC. Yeah. On, on, and in the AFC, you know, everybody was really down on the Chiefs last year. But yeah, they I don't know through. why. We were, we, we were doing an early, like, look at the win totals. And, you know, the Chiefs at 11 and a half, it's like, how do you get them to six losses? I, I don't see it. Like, they every, every year, even without Tyreek Hill, they figure it out. And I think... I think the Chiefs could be a team that surprises people with a big, maybe DeAndre Hopkins, maybe someone in the draft. I still think they could uh, do something big in uh, the receiver market. Yeah, it could be. And, and you know, this year, this year, one thing on the win total is important to, important to pay attention to. This is an AFC extra home game year, yes. so you got yes. nine at home for all AFCs, and uh, and I do think that makes a pretty big difference. I mean, be careful laying that uh, 11 and a half for Kansas City with that kind of <laughs> nugget, because boy, yeah. look out! Easy, Here they it's come. It's a free square. Well, awesome, Derek. Appreciate right. you coming on. Appreciate all the hospitality. Make sure you come out here. Stadium Swim, Circa Las Vegas, the premier uh, sports book experience. And real quick, I did want to let Derek know before the security incident report lands on your desk, <laughs> it was me who tried to bring a snorkel into the pool. My bad. <laughs> lifeguards. <laughs> lifeguards. <laughs> Well, so we have a gimmick on the show where we call people who uh, dive deeper scuba guys and guys who float at the top are snorkelers. He's going to be on the security report. He's the one that brought the snorkel into the pool. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, we, right. we, we, we got that going on. We're, thank you, Derek. See Appreciate ya. it. Appreciate the hospitality. Thanks, Derek. All right. Uh, always fun getting to hang out with. Derek Stevens, and we're hanging out here at the beautiful Stadium Swim. Of course, rocking our Shady Rays, our favorite sunglasses. And all you got to do, go to shadyrays.com. Use the promo code SGPN, 50% off two plus pairs of polarized shades. Try for yourself. The glass is rated five stars by over 200,000 people. Again, Shady Rays, you look good, you feel good. Uh, you know, hey, maybe you leave your, just your shades in the cabana. Oh no, you're never going to get a new pair. Not so fast. Shady Rays has you covered with a uh, awesome replacement policy. You lose or break your pair, even on day one, they will send you a brand new pair. No questions asked. Wear your Shady Rays with confidence because you uh, they got your back long after the purchase, 30 day money back guarantee. You're not gonna need it because you love your Shady Rays. Go to ShadyRays.com, promo code SGPN for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. Again, try it for yourself. The shades rated five stars by over 200,000 people. Paul, let's oh, get yeah. you, let's get get you on here. the show. Joining us on the show, uh, you probably know him from the Discord, from the chat, or just being a winner. Yes, just being a winner of life. His uh, he's got an all-time Twitter profile photo of oh. some Japanese whiskey and some barbecue. And I mean it. But nothing better than just saying, you know what? I identify as whiskey and meat. <laughs> yes. I don't have a gender identity. It's a meat and whiskey identity. Joining <laughs> us here, and, and feel free get right oh, up on that. There we go. Eat that microphone, uh, Paul. This is what it looks like. Hi, gang. Uh, Paul's How you doing? Been, pa Paul's been flexing on his friends, hanging yes. out here. <laughs> so, Paul, you won the uh, Circa Stadium Swim contest. Now we had you react live, but. Uh, walk us through hearing that your name was called, that you were going to be getting a trip out here to Stadium Swim. Well, I actually was, 
I misunderstood it, was watching the Final Four, and Munaf texted me, he said something about Circa. Well, I just recently tweeted Benson about Circa coming to Illinois, you know? <laughs> so I saw the tweet, and I'm like, oh, great, Circa's coming sooner than I thought. And then he texted me again, and Colby messaged me like, hey, no dummy, you're going to Circa. <laughs> He's and like, yeah, can't wait to go to Circa when, uh, <laughs> when it opens up in Illinois. But no, you're going to uh, Mecca here, yeah. making a pilgrimage out to Circa Las Vegas. Now, which was, I mean, it's awesome that you won. It's great because you've been, I, I know, a listener uh, to the network for a long time. Big golf gambling guy as well. Uh, don't don't say it out loud, but he likes Colby as well. He, like, he likes Colby. I'm a Colby guy. <laughs> I said it out loud. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's light this Roman candle. Admitted uh, Colby guy. <laughs> what was your, uh, what? And now actually it was fun to find out this is your first trip to Las Vegas period. How is a guy like you, big sports diehard fan, never never made it out to Vegas before? Uh, any superlative I would use would kind of <laughs> just not do it justice. It was something I um I don't know. Yeah. I I can't even explain it. I didn't. You I knew needed it'd be a amazing. reason. Huh? You needed a reason. Oh yeah. And a lot of things in life, you'll be excited to go to Disney or you'll see a destination to go to someplace. Then sometimes after thinking about it or hearing about it for 20 years of your life, you're like, yeah. oh, this is a little underwhelming. Yes. It's not that great. The it's Grand so Canyon's much a whole. so leading up to it. Uh, this is not one of those cases. No. It's absolutely amazing. You guys have been amazing. Well, thanks. Uh, it's been uh, it's been an awesome trip. Still got a still got a night tonight. We're gonna head over to the wind, do a show over there as well. So well, and and real quick, like to pull back the curtain, uh, and shout out to Derek. But it, it, Derek literally rolls out the same carpet for everyone. So it, I mean, I I gotta be honest. Like I I certainly was not expected to get picked up from the airport. Yes. Shout out Derek for that. This has been all. Everything's been great except for the snorkel incident. <laughs> Except that they were <laughs> hashtag free Kramer and the snorkeling. Uh, that was pretty funty. Kramer immediately hopped in the pool and then just got yelled at by security like they swore no me. snorkeling. Oh, they did no snorkeling. So again, maybe they're also Colby guys themselves. Big uh, team scuba. Yeah, Colby called in a favor. Not not <laughs> snorkeling. Uh, of course, uh, got to shout out Sword Vitality. Head over to SwordVitality.com. Use the promo code SGPN. They can get you taken care of. Again. What, we're Bring going Paul to on the for edge. the erection talk. <laughs> yeah, Is that what's talk. going on here? Your timing's terrible. Uh, you know, yeah. I mean, hey, everyone could use a sword vitality boost from now, uh, now and again. And again, nothing to be ashamed of. Increase blood flow in ways that help you thrive as a man in the bedroom. Sword vitality can even help increase your stamina. You don't have to hide it. You can be proud of it. Unsheath your sword. Go to swordvitality.com and use the promo code SGPN for a nice discount at checkout. At swordvitality.com. Promo code S G. P and boners and and uh, smoothies, two Vegas staples. Yes, a big part of, uh, of the Vegas uh, <laughs> repertoire here. Uh, we did get to go to a Barry's Steakhouse. That was a that was an awesome meal. I feel like we've we've uh, we've got some sweet table games going. Is there anything else on your Vegas to do list? We're gonna be on the Strip uh, later tonight. That's always a a fun experience as well. But anything else that you've seen in Vegas that you're like, oh, I want to do that while I'm here. I got to do the Fremont experience. I need yes. to walk down there at night and see everything, see the lights, see some. I mean, you'll you'll also. I, fun fact: I once did the Fremont experience with my grandmother, <laughs> and the visual of her just standing <laughs> staring at these like quadruple G tits was something I can never unsee. Well, so. they, ha they have these showgirls <laughs> that want you to uh, take a photo with them, and you pay them ten bucks or whatever. I mean, they're going. I think pretty much 24 seven. Cause I met my father-in-law went to a restaurant called bacon nation at like 9 AM. And they were hounding me to get a, get a photo of them. So I don't think there's any off switch uh, for the Fremont street experience. That's pretty fun. And if you, they do have a, um, what is it called? Where you're, you're a zip, up line. A zip line. They do have a zip line. If you really want to go want a zip line, ball, the wife did suggest we go zip lining later. That would be a pretty great visual. <laughs> All three of us zip lining the Fremont, uh, Fremont experience. I don't know if that's going to happen. Are there not weight limits? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if Moonoff's tall enough to ride, but I might be a little too big to well, ride. The man, thing. Paul, you gotta understand it's Vegas. They'll figure it out. Well, and, and uh, it is great meeting Paul in person. Cause for uh, <laughs> SGPN, 
we're always trying to round out our uh, football team oh, yeah. when it comes to like what positions and seeing Paul, it's like, all right, we, we got our, we got our offensive tackle ready to go <laughs> right tackle, left tackle. We got Joe Theismann uh, backed up by stone Labanowitz. We got a uh, Mike Leach, God rest his soul, coaching us from heaven. You're, you're third we're string tight end. Yeah, third string tight end. <laughs> we'll get Gronk as the starter. We're we're putting together quite a uh, quite a good squad here. Paul, before we uh, let you go, uh, you were hanging out in the cabana when we were doing our 2023 like early, way too early, no research, just gut reaction uh, to the win totals. Is there a win total that you've already thought about or, or a team you're looking to fade or ride for the 2023 NFL season? I know you're a big bears guy, but anything jump out from a betting perspective early here in the football season? No, I haven't looked at any totals. Uh, I think the NFC North is going to be kind of a mess. If Rogers leaves, you don't have one dominant quarterback with golf Kirk. Yeah, I don't, I think it's going to be kind of a disaster there. One of those spots where a winner of a division probably shouldn't go to the playoffs. Oh, I like um, you setting up the Bears winning the division at eight and nine. I we like can take that. that. Yeah, I, I could be in on that too, Sean. I think that's maybe the gimmick this year. Yeah, the Bears <laughs> win the North at eight and nine. <laughs> I mean, again, it really, it really can go any way in the NFC North. We we're just talking to Derek about the Lions. I'm, I didn't want to burst his bubble. I'm not quite as high on the Lions. I, I think they are primed for some regression, but. The NFC North is wide, wide. Oh, don't open. lie, Sean. You tried to sell him some real estate on Jared Goff Sucks <laughs> Island, and he told you to fuck off. I, I mean, I know Derek <laughs> loves the Lions, but I think even he—he's not. I haven't seen Derek rocking a Jared Goff jersey around uh, around circle. We'll see. Maybe he is all in on uh, on Jared Goff. Well, awesome having you here, Paul. Yeah. Congrats Thanks, guys. again it. for uh, winning the contest. Give uh, Paul a follow on Twitter at Paulie Poodle. Check right. him out. But before you go, Paul, yeah. who's winning the Masters? Who's winning the Masters? Who's winning the Masters? Uh, currently, Brooks, and it's not pretty. Um, let's go, Hovlin. Oh, let's Hovlin. have Hovlin storm Hovlin. Back. He's got a Hovlin outright. Let's yeah. make that happen. It is going to be Viking weather. Viking weather. All and right. N- not on dome. It'll keep Colby happy. Yeah. <laughs> I do have to say, I appreciate this trip, and Derek gets it. I think Derek realizes like. Human relations is his biggest asset. Yes. He really, I'm a nobody from the Midwest that won a trip, and they've treated me amazing here. Well, and I think the like to second that because it, it's cool every time we get to do it. Like we straight up just hang out with Derek. It's not yeah. like a, it's it's very very organic, and he's It'd very like happy if, to talk to you. Imagine if you went yeah. to the win and Steve wins. They're like <laughs> hanging out like. You guys want some beers? That's not even real. What do you guys? You guys like blackjack? Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> you guys want a line of credit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. Uh, thanks for everything. Yeah. Thanks for Paul coming out. Congrats to Paul. Hell yeah, Paul. Thank you as always for tuning in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Oh, the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green, and he is Ryan. For the record, Brooks and his third leg are taking it down. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>